Now at 11, police in Broward are asking parents to check their child's cell phone following a pair of sex crimes involving a grown man. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. The youngest victim is 13, and detectives think there are more out there. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Coconut Creek with the safety alert. His name is Turnell Cartagena, a 22-year-old man in Broward County's jail with no bond, banned from touching any electronic device with or without internet because of what Coconut Creek police say he did to a 13-year-old and her underage friend. If you look at it, it's, you know, it's predatory behavior. That's what it is. Court records too graphic to show in detail claim Cartagena goes by the nickname Nuck. Police say one of the girl's ex-boyfriends introduced the teens to Nuck at this promenade in January. Detectives say Nuck helped the girls buy a vape pen, exchange phone numbers, then sent a series of texts offering and asking for sex photos and videos. According to police, the 13-year-old, quote, was hesitant because she knew he was older and did not want to meet Nuck for sex by herself. Once inside his silver Hyundai, one victim says they told Nuck their age and he was getting scared, but we told him nobody's going to find out. Police say he drove to this nearby apartment parking lot and had sex with both girls. One of them told police Nuck confided in her that he would have sex with boys, girls, and men. Over the next few days, police say the 13-year-old snuck out and met Nuck for sex twice. Later, both girls' parents discovered explicit texts and called police, who believe there are other victims and encouraged parents to check their children's cell phone. Not that uh, they're the, not that they're, that child might be a victim, but what we're saying is, you know, we're hoping that, you know, some of these parents and some of these teenagers saw this guy, heard that name and said, oh, hey, you know, I remember that and I remember this you know, didn't seem right to me, it seemed kind of shady. Cartagena's public defender told CBS News Miami she has not seen any of the evidence against her client, and while the allegations against him are ugly, Cartagena is innocent until prosecutors prove otherwise. Cartagena faces six felonies, but police say more than one other potential victim is talking with detectives here, so more charges are possible. In Coconut Creek, Larry Seward, CBS News Miami.